First here at 9 o'clock, protesters against the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade met outside the Tulsa County Courthouse tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Dorman. And I'm Shannon Brousseau. Many of the protesters, Town News on 6's Jordan Tidwell, they feel today is a step backward. Jordan? Brian and Shannon, a couple hundred protesters were out here today holding signs and chanting. Many say that the decision today made them feel numb and they felt it was important to be here. I felt violated in a sense. As women, you know, it, it took so long for us to get rights that we have that it just felt like they were stripped away. A large crowd of people stood along Denver Avenue with signs and chanting, processing the Supreme Court's ruling. There's a real risk, and it's okay if you want to take that risk for yourself, but it's not okay for the government to make us take that risk. Kat Thomas says she has two young daughters at home and is now scared for their future. I've cried with every Supreme Court justice that retired or died. I've cried with every swearing in. So today, I just kind of felt numb. We knew it was coming. No forced pregnancy! No forced pregnancy! I'm an army veteran. I strongly believe in the separation of church and state. And if I can fight for my country elsewhere, I can surely be out here and fight for women today. Kaylee Namari says if she can make at least one woman feel less alone in this situation, then being at the protest was worth it. We all know somebody that's had an abortion. It's something like one in three to one in four women will have an abortion in their lifetime. This isn't a black and white issue. Of course, I'm emotional. This was a peaceful protest. There was one tense moment when a man carrying a rifle walked over to the protesters, but organizers say he was there to offer protection, but he left after people were uncomfortable. Live in Tulsa, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.